Washington. Five flags face the entrance at the Naval Operations Support Center on Amnicola Highway. Each one pays tribute to one of Chattanooga's fallen heroes. But the display was only meant to be temporary. Now the city is in the beginning phases of designing what a more permanent memorial will look like. Channel 3's Tim Pham tells us how the city's working to honor the fallen five. It's been nearly two years since the July 16th terrorist attacks in Chattanooga, and since then, several tributes have formed to honor the fallen. But one location is still waiting to install a permanent memorial for the community. I was just at work um, doing normal things I do every day, and uh, when the terrorist came crashing through the gate, uh, really changed my life uh, since then. A memorial sits near the recruiting center on Lee Highway, and a mural honors the Fallen Five on Macaulay Avenue. But there's no official memorial on Amnicola Highway, where Lieutenant Commander Tim White was on that day. We're not just looking for artists to create um, you know, a sculpture. We're, we're really looking for this whole space to be considered. Caitlin Kearney is heading a nationwide search for artists to design the Fallen Five Memorial at the River Park. The space is about 100 yards from where the attack happened and is broken up into two spaces. It could be one or the other or a consideration of both and sort of complementing each other. $15,000 donated by the Chattanooga Heroes Run will be spent on the design phase and given to the top three finalists. We'll have three teams that will be visiting the site um, and then you know spending time in the space, spending time with the community and then going back and working on a proposal. The overall project costs about $750,000 and will be funded by grants and donations. White and the committee hopes the space will provide a place for the community to mourn, reflect and honor the fallen. The passion that we have for this Heroes Memorial is that we remember the sacrifice that those heroes made for their country and for their community and the sacrifice also that their families have made and continue to make without their loved ones in their lives anymore. The deadline for submissions is April 27th. The city hopes to have a design finalized by the end of this year. Reporting in the studio, Tim Pham, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Artists and design teams are required to submit a portfolio of their work along with explaining why they are interested in this project. Find a full application at WRCBTV.com.